Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Crown Bay back with another video. And today I wanted to show you guys episode two of um, Natural Herbie Hair series that I started. This episode's about deep conditioning. Why is deep conditioning so important? It keeps your hair moisturized and um, soft and manageable throughout the, the week or the month whenever you are doing it. But when you feel your hair is dry, you're putting all these oils and stuff in your hair and when, um, your hair is styled, it gets, it's still dry or the ends are really dry. So that's a sign that you do need to be deep condition. Okay, so I'll show you my favorite deep conditioner. Um, it is all organic and um, they all, they don't use any preservatives or anything. It's called Natural All Dry Solution. Uh, and I'll read you the ingredients real quick. So the first thing is um, avocados, water, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil. So the first five ingredients, I know exactly what that is. So. Uh, and the first five ingredients are something that you know, um, then the product is really good because it's more natural natural ingredients in and that's more for your hair versus um, salt, sulfate or glycerin, stuff like that. Her first five ingredients are all natural, things that you actually know, not some crazy word you're like, what is that? Like some synthetic um some 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 synthetic substance that you're putting in your hair so when you get your products try to read the back and um if you don't know what the five things are most likely it's not very good for your hair so yeah so deep conditioning is very important i try to do it at least once a week or every two weeks i try to deep condition my hair and um you're saying well hey i condition my hair in the shower why is that not enough because that gets the outside of your hair deep conditioner is deep conditioning it goes within each follicle of your hair inside of the hair and does some crazy mixy magic thing or whatever i don't know but it gets inside the follicle and it helps repair your hair and makes it less prone to dry to get dry or cracking it just helps your overall health of hair it keeps it it keeps it moisturized and keeps it soft and manageable um yeah manageable so when you're first going uh curly you want to deep condition your hair because uh, your hair may be used to being protective styles or wigs or um, under weaves. So when you take your hair out, it's searching for moisture and it gets all frizzy and tangled. So by deep conditioning, every so often, once um, once a week or every two weeks, your hair already has all the moisture it needs. So it's not going to be as frizzy and it's not going to get as tangled because when it gets tangled and frizzy, it's searching for moisture in the air and that's what your hair is doing. It's either going to get tangled or super, super big and frizzy. Okay? So deep conditioning, very important um, when you are going natural. Or when you're not going natural, but it's very important like at least once a week when you're first going natural. Okay, so... This smells like tea tree oil. Oh, the rest of the ingredients, sorry guys. So it has glycerin, I don't know, that is citric acid, kind of like keeps, I guess, preserves it, I don't know. Um, this glucurgum, glucurgum, I don't know how to pronounce it. Glucur, glucur, gum. Tea tree essential oil, lavender essential oil, and vitamin E. So out of all those, I don't know three ingredients. So when you look in the back of your deep conditioner, how many ingredients do you not know? Okay, I just ripped it because I can't find it. Okay. So like in the first episode, if you haven't watched it, please watch it. It shows you how to detangle your hair. And that is the most important thing about going natural, knowing how to detangle your hair properly without damaging. So when you're deep conditioning, you want to, let me fix my towel so my shirt doesn't get wet. When you're first deep conditioning, you want to focus on the ends. Okay. I'm gonna separate that like this. Okay. And this is the two ounce one. They're kind of expensive, guys. Um, this one. But hey, you get what you pay for. I got this on sale during Christmas time. What is it, June? <laughs> it's like June something. I got this during Christmas time. And what you do, you leave it in the freezer. 
And when you're ready to use it that day, just take it out the freezer, let it thaw out, and you can use it in your hair. So everything's super fresh, so when you have it, you need to put it in the freezer or else it'll go bad. That's how fresh the ingredients are. Another alternative, I'll show you guys my other favorite I used to use before this. It is a little bit more, um, what's it called? Affordable. Oh my God. I put a little bit too much in my hand. I'm gonna focus on the end though. I'm gonna take this down because I put too much. And I want to focus on the ends because you want to focus on the ends of your hair when you're deep conditioning because it is the oldest part of your hair. So you want to focus on that part first. And then if you have a little bit extra, you want to work it up throughout the rest of your hair. And this has made your slip. Just detangle your hair. Another thing with deep conditioning, you don't want to put it in your hair when your hair is dry. You want to make sure your hair is wet. Just because... When you're putting some, a product on wet hair, it spreads throughout the hair um, better, and also it can penetrate the, um, the hair shaft better as well. And you get more product um, through each curl better when your hair is super wet versus if it's dry. Because look, it just gets everywhere. And my hair is, ooh, I can just feel how dry my hair is right now. It's, it sounds so bad. The, And I make sure when I do this or kind of like any style, I put a towel on the floor just because it just gets so messy and wet. I did both sides. I'm going to see what side needs. I'm just gonna spread this evenly with all the extra that I have. Work my way up, put on my roots a little bit. In the front where my edges are, I'm losing some edges right here. So I need to put it right here. So let me show you the texture real quick. Green and avocado -y. After you detangle your hair with a deep conditioner, very important because you want the product to get to each strand of hair. So if you just put it on and you don't detangle it, detangle it, it's gonna de condition some of your hair and not all of your hair. So you want make sure you want to comb it through and make sure all the product is touching um, each strand of your hair and not leaving like a big chunk in the middle untouched. We don't want that because it defeats the purpose of the deep conditioner. So you can just have it in a bun, leave it like this for 20, 40 minutes, wash it out. Um, and go about your day or you can take the next step now you want to get a plastic cap but if you don't have one that's okay you can use a plastic bag that you get from the grocery store I wish they had those other plastic bags that they used to have not this hard plastic but now they're just being extra because you have to pay 10 cents for it being so extra and hold on let me get something ouch or I put like a little rubber band on it okay so you can do this or you can take the next extra step, which is add heat. Heat opens up the hair follicle so it can grab, so it can soak in all the moisture from the deep conditioner. So that's another extra step that you guys um, should do. If you guys don't have a heating cap, they have, um, they have some on Amazon, pretty cheap. You put them in the microwave and then you put them on your head or you have the ones that plug into the wall like I have. Um, this is the brand. If you guys want to look it up, I got this from a yard sale. I didn't buy it off the, off of a, off a website. I believe this is like the 50s or 60s. This is so old. Let me show you the box. Like this therapeutic uh, uh, drying heat cap is so old. Let me see. So old, guys. But I'll look it up. And if I find it, I'll definitely link it down below. Because this is the best. And it lasts so long. Um, it has um, high medium and low setting so it's so good um if you watched my um i forgot my wash wash and go i always use this heating cap but if you don't you have a heating cap and you don't have that thing that you put in the microwave you don't have to buy anything sis you don't have to buy nothing okay i'll show you what to do so you get a towel you so you wet it a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit not like super hot put it in the microwave and then you place that 
hot um hot towel on top of your head um and then you wrap um a dry towel on top so you can just hold in that heat for as long as possible and we're gonna leave this on for about 30 minutes to an hour but the package if you want to do what the package says on the um on the deep conditioner it says 20 to 40 minutes but i like to do 30 minutes to an hour and then you can either um let me put this on This little puff ball, aggravating. Okay. Okay. So after the hour, I'll take it off and you can either leave it in or I'll rinse it out. The package says to rinse it out. So if you wanna follow what the package says, you should rinse it out. But I typically leave it in depending how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling a little bit lazier, I'll leave it in the next day. Still keep this um this plastic bag on my head all day, depending on what I'm doing. So um yeah, it just depends on what I'm trying to do, you know, like if I have nothing to do or I'm super lazy, I just want to watch TV or catch up on some things that um I have planned, you know wash day is a little bit hectic because once you rinse this out honey you gotta style your hair you gotta grease it you gotta do something because you can't just rinse it out and go say all right i'm done like no your hair is gonna get all frizzy it needs something in it like you're not done after you rinse this deep conditioner out so do you have time like do you have time to, to moisturize again like it's a process <laughs> you feel me it's a process like you can't just rinse this out and call it a day you gotta get your leave-in conditioner in your oil and braid it up something you got to do something to your hair you can't just leave it like that it's gonna get tangled again <sighs> i know you guys feel this my pain we we're sharing that we i we know sis sis we know each other's pain which is when it comes to wash day deep conditioning we already know like <clears throat> it's already been two hours oh, like jesus all right so guys that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative to you. Um, hopefully you guys can try out this new deep conditioner because it is literally the best deep conditioner I ever had. When I don't rinse it out and I just leave it down, the curls are so pretty. They're so, my curls are so defined. Like my curls have never been so moisturized with a deep conditioner ever. All I gotta say is guys, it is kind of expensive, but it is worth trying it out when they have sales. Just keep an eye out for it. Sometimes they um, have great deals during the holidays and sometimes during like, you know, random, um, random sales, they'll have like 20% off, sometimes 30% off, but most, um, mostly they have 10% off too. So that kind of covers shipping. You know, you get free shipping if you get 10% off, basically it's shipping, you know? So, I mean, it's better than nothing. So I suggest you guys at least try it once, um, and see if you like it, but it is the best deep conditioner I ever had. Oh my God. And I forgot to show you guys, um, the deep conditioner I used besides this, I'll put a little picture right here, show you this is the deep conditioner that I used used to use before I um, tried natural. So I use both of these depending on the sale cause your girl loves a sale. Your girl loves a deal. I don't like to buy stuff full price, especially if the deep conditioner is over $15. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. But, um, well, it wouldn't be a lot if I like got paid, paid, but you know, you girls working up to that, okay? Subscribe. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you can get notified when I upload a new video with this series if you like this um, type of video because it's episode two of many other videos I'm going to upload for you beginner naturals, okay? Or if you just want information about certain uh, topics I'm going to talk about in this series, you never know what I'm going to come up with, okay? So that concludes the video. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And it's nothing but love here. Love, peace, and serenity. Okay? Bye. Love you guys.